Yep, so we're about to win our first playoff game in franchise history here as the Raleigh Durham Ice Caps. And that should seal the deal with that empty net goal there from Dominic Cahoon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. Kahuna Matata. <laughs> yeah, it was. He really just dragged his toy. You see that? That was funny. Yeah, <laughs> he just picked his toy out of his mouth and just carried it across the room. That's funny. Never seen him do that. Well, anyways, bye, bitch, Washington Capitals. Ha ha ha. Series is tied. Yeah. Series is tied. I put no effort into making these uniforms. I don't even think I touched them. So, yeah, that's why they look so generic. Um. Oh, he's fighting his reflection again. <laughs> Our big dumbass cat. <laughs> Our 11 pound dumbass. Um, I didn't mean to go to the settings. So we'll quit with the Raleigh Durham ice caps with the Narwhal logo. Winning. Solid. Series is tied 1 1 now. And we'll move on to game number three for our first home playoff game. And since this is a home game, we're going to miss the first 19 seconds, but I am going to send through the entirety of this game because it's a very big moment in franchise history. Do you need me to stand up and grab it? Where is it? The black guy didn't go there. Okay. Uh, here we are at the Raleigh Durham Ice Caps Arena. I forget what I actually named this. Oh, good uh, block in front there. I'll set it over here. Oh, Washington already scored. I hate it here. Tyler Bozak, huge Kaniac. That was a good play. I saw on Tripp's Twitter today that uh, Will Ferrell, huge Kaniac. <laughs> no, I'm just doing this in case people watch later on. I have to make myself, like, sort of look interested in this shit. Which I actually am. I created this team. Awesome. They were an expansion team. So I... I have... I've literally built this team from, like, the very beginning, so... There's Jake DeBrus sidestepping a defender there. Moves in front. Good save there. Thought about it. Takes the shot. Easy stop from the goalie. We still had it. There comes Booth. Skating. Whew, good save. Shot. Oh man. Nothing is getting through Samson off here. Couple fantastic looks though from the team. <laughs> what a goal! Absolute bomb from the point. Oh, there's our mascot. He's a little shark.
I mean, you won't see a prettier shot. Oh, we scored again. Ed Booth, one of our uh, high picks in the first round. Rakus with the shot. He was another high pick of ours. So it's a it's a lot of young talent on this team. We're up and up, up and coming, and we're we're taking it to the Washington Capitals. Like it's been a very difficult series for the Caps. Ooh, we won the second game. We only lost the first game in overtime. That's been that's been good. Ooh. Nah, I wanted to build a good offense to kind of make up for, you know, some not so great defense. Now well, he's trying to get in the target bag because he sees the toys in there. <laughs> Hi, kitty. No, I, I, I don't think you need to be looking in this bag anymore. Unless, do you just, do you just want the crinkles? You just want the crinkles. You just want the crinkles. Go get it. Go get it, kitty. Pick you up and set you down. Oh, what a hit. My god. I don't know if you saw the last overtime, but it was a pretty physical one. And it looks like both teams are kind of out here playing that grit and grind hockey. Good shot again. Let's get all sorts of chances from the the slot area. We are letting them too. <laughs> I do. Okay. Forty one. Out of 41. Okay, 71.7. Ah, that was tough. Defensively, this team's not the strongest, but when you just... That was just a good shot right out of the gate. Smushy couldn't quite get set. He 
he's really happy to have his toy. Nice work. A hundred out of a hundred. Boom, good hit on Ovechkin there. Again, he keeps the puck though, but Letty, strong play to stay on the puck there. I like that. Oh, how did that not go in? Oh my gosh, Jake DeBrusque. Cancelled. was a golden opportunity. Here we go again. Oh, don't. <laughs> this is my refugee from um, Iran. Oh, wow. Well, that's really cool, man. Again with the shot. I like her organization. I don't know how. This is me. Shot from Booth. Good poke check to keep that away there. You just give him half points every time. No, I'm saying like like when you give them back points. No, actually, as long as they turn it, as long as they turn in. Like the revisions. Like by the original due date, I could literally. This is the system that Miss Bullock and I have created because of the virtual world again. In real life, this is not what it would. If they turn in late, if they turn in even a minute late, the highest they can earn is an 85. Okay. But there's no timeline. There's right. no deadline. Right. Like, they could literally turn it in at the end of the semester, and they could still get an 85. Right. But they, as, learn, as long as they turn in something by That's, the deadline, yeah. they can still get 100 points. Nice. So, it's... We make it very manageable. Hmm. That's good. It's e uh, easier on the students, and plus, you know, like, they can still succeed.
Kitty, did you already lose it? <laughs> hey. Wait. Wait. Just wait. You got it, bro. Go get it. <sighs> okay, that was just a good shot. Dang it. So he is, he is smart. He just doesn't always act like it. I just kind of let him walk all the way through the zone there. This is what they get. They've missed opportunities in this game, you know? They're going to bite you in the butt if you don't capitalize on some of those missed opportunities. Get up one more time and I'll put the bag away. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a sec. See, I know what you're looking for, but there's literally a toy on the floor, silly. I don't know what else you want from us. <laughs> we've given you food, we give you shelter, now we've given you all these toys to play with. Yet you want more. This is why you're getting a little heavy. <laughs> Alright, only one goal in that second period and it went to Washington unfortunately so we are trying to dig ourselves out of a hole here there we go good play hopefully we can get some offense Ooh, what a hit. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So she did get it. What an individual effort. Does that look like it might be the word chorus? Yes. There we go. We tied it up. Mm -hmm. Our guy's banging on a little drum there.
I'm afraid he's gonna unplug something. Yes, back, 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 back that ass up and come here, buddy. All you gotta do is behave. It's the bare minimum for what you have to do, cat. We don't ask for much. Here you go. Now come here and cuddle. Or choose violence, which is probably what you're gonna do. Dang, they score again. Three minutes left. This is just, I wanted to sim through our first, like, full home playoff game. I won't do this anymore. <clears throat> what? I cleared my throat. I had something stuck in it. Okay. Just absolutely punishing in the neutral zone here. Hi, everybody say hello to my kitty. Hey buddy, come here. Come. Yeah. Come. Yes. Anything you want to say to the people? Can you say Meryl? Nope, you're just going to want to run away and be a crackhead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's shedding right now. Oh, you found another toy to play with. It's crazy. Yeah. Carolina's currently losing 3 nothing in their series to uh, Tampa, yikes. Game 4 is more what I expected the series to be.
there's a dub. Rocco Grimaldi. Also, what a name. Why? <laughs> he was just trying to attack me. So Rocco Grimaldi's two third period goals give the Ice Caps life in the series. That helps us win game number five. Yeah, he's he's being good right now. He's just sitting there chilling. He's actually snuggled up between us. It's really cute. There we go. Trocek with the go-ahead goal. Not a good second period, but third period we're tied. Gambrell and Trocek. So we're going to overtime. So we're actually going to play this game out. Win and we force a game seven in a pivotal series. Obviously pivotal being the team's first ever series. Lose and... We're eliminated. How dare you adjust? Yeah, kind of me, I'm sorry. We just keep on getting. Bless you. He's getting a little big. What a hit there from Nick Letty on John Carlson. Ovechkin with the steal. Marsh or so. Great save in front. Caps win. Not great defense there. <laughs> Which uh, goes to show you what I'm thinking about making the team improve on this year. Oh, look at him sitting down there. He's in full on loaf mode. Alright, so we'll go ahead and send him to the draft. In one second. Go ahead. 46. 44. Minus. Minus. We found an extra gem, which is. A nickel. Four. So minus eight, basically. Minus two. Minus two. And that's it. Divided by forty-four equals seventy-two point seven. Minnesota inspired their head coach. Toronto wins the cup. Oh, good yawn, kitty. Oh, look, he wants to help you grade. Uh, Alright, there's the draft lottery. We'll probably be picking about 16th or 17th. Maybe 18th. But final draft rankings before we head into the draft. We got gems and busts here. So no new ones. I'm definitely going to draft this left-handed defenseman because getting a low elite player... Yes, I know he's 19, but getting a low elite player in the 7th round is still really good. So, definitely something to keep an eye on. <laughs> Do you see his paws? Oh, he liked that. <laughs> he doesn't know what he did. He was like, what? What happened? So it was a Toronto versus Calgary series, which is very interesting. Um, any creative players winning awards this year? Carolina's coach won the Jack Adams, but no creative players winning awards this year.
<laughs> just licked your laptop. Use it. Alright, so we have pick number 17. Okay, so I was right. Sidney Crosby retired. Crazy. So we have a chance to get a decent prospect here. Um, Ricky Stevenson might not be bad. Um, it's looking like the one player that my scouts rank as the best. Um, could be Tiny Bass, but I don't think that that's accurate. I'm thinking that they that we pick uh, Alvin Gardner here. He's not the fastest skater. Um, his puck skills are pretty weak. I'm actually gonna say no to that one. I'm going try and grab Ricky Steven Stevenson. This guy's skating is an A plus already. Everything else is a little weak. Um, his senses aren't great. He's not the best playmaker, but I think this is a player that could have high-end skill. I mean, his skating is already five stars. Everything else is at least, like, decent. So, you know, it could be pretty good. And then we've got pick 49. So, again, looking for, like, a decent prospect here. Cat, no. So you were just being Are you I hate it here. Don't. No. What did I do to you? I haven't picked a center in a minute, so I'm going to pick this Owen Doig player. Okay. I have yet to pick a defenseman, so Matthew Gov is the player I'm going to pick here. I keep tripping out thinking that the players that the Carolina Hurricanes pick are going to be for me. Like, nope, that's not my team anymore. So we still have Moises Westgarth. A pretty good goalie prospect. There's another low elite player. Cameron Farrell is not very good, but he has. He's also a year younger. <gasps> Khalif. <sighs> you know better. Nineteen-year-old Passy Cycler, not a very good skater, but this probably is the best pick. Fifty-eight overall at nineteen years old isn't great. That top six potential is pretty nice. That was probably the best pick. I don't know for sure. We'll grab a goalie. I've yet to pick a goalie in this draft. Ronnie Marr. We've got another fifth round pick, because why not? Or is it still the fourth round? I think it's still the fourth round. So we'll pick him. We'll pick Cameron Farrell. Grab that defensive defenseman that's low elite. She's just being lazy. Oh, is that what that is? She was way smarter than us. That's, that's sad. We'll pick Clint Prosser because my scouts seem really high on him. Well, top and forward, not great. Okay, that's the last pick that I have. I think. So we'll go ahead and grab Tupperinen as well. 53 overall at age 19 doesn't inspire like a ton of confidence. So hopefully he works out. But really good draft. 
I'm happy with it. Later. I can get it. Um, 35 plus 21, that's 56? Yeah. Okay, so this is out of 56. Okay. So it'd be 56 minus 6. Okay. Minus 1. Minus 6. Minus two. And that's it? Yeah. And that was out of 56, you said? 73.2. Well, she can get all the points back. Okay. So, Gambrel is good. But what I'm thinking is, I have. He doesn't want to resign. don't have anything like concrete in the system that can replace him and I don't think I will so I think we're gonna stay at that I'm going to qualify Drury and I'm gonna sign Jilkin here to a contract left wingers Jake Dabrowski was a perfect fit for this team six years is a lot but I'm also looking at a guy who had 53 points last year, so that's pretty solid. Um, Draws is just solid AHL depth at this point. Varakis, I'm going to qualify. This is a guy who probably won't have many more points than 30-ish points. Just because of the type of player that he is, but I've gotten two. I've gotten over 200 games out of him, so he is already what you would call a good pick. Let's get this. And after the end of this two-year contract, he'll be 24, and we'll have a better idea of what type of player he is. Um. I think Grimaldi was perfect for the fourth line. We'll qualify. Tarachenko and Lanya. I'm gonna sign. And we'll go Rodin, why not? Forstrom. It sucks, but I don't think he's good enough. Yeah, yes, Cameron. So we'll offer Will a new contract. We'll offer Wild a new contract. I'll qualify Samarokov and Lundqvist. And I'll sign Zinger. Low top 6D, but his, poten or his uh, overall isn't terrible. Yes, Cameron. Kill him again. I'm definitely going to qualify and sorry, that's me snapping at my head. Um, so I don't want to bring back Ranta actually. I'm gonna sign this Davis player. Okay, so literally all of my goalies are free agents. My cat is being a dick. Um, I do have three goalies in the system right now. I don't want to buy out Tucker Tynan, but yeah. So 
the future of the team really quickly. We're looking at this guy in goal. We do have Lowry. This is a player that I drafted in the fifth round. 70 overall, huh? That's a really good pick. Wow. Okay. So Grimaldi didn't want to sign, and I think I'm okay with it. Okay. So what do I need this off-season? Got that. I could use a depth left winger. Yeah, I could use a depth left winger. Could use, um, I could use a top defenseman. I keep messing up.
I really just wanted to see if there were any decent prospects available. Coaching staff is fine. <sighs> okay, let's get a guy with a better team fit. That's exactly what I needed. Let's go. NHL head coach. Ryan Getzlaff. Interesting. Sixty percent is the best right now. William Neenander loves this guy. That's an option. Demetrius Stahl, that's funny. Okay. Yes. Jared Boynton. Is going to be my new NHL head coach. We're going to offer him a decent amount of money. And fire my current coach. Because he's just not doing anything for my team. Alright, I got my scout. And I got the coach. Who doesn't like the makeup of our roster, however, he will. Okay, I got Sammy Niku and I got Jacob Slavin, which automatically makes my team's defense better. Um, now, I could trade my team's worst defenseman, but here's what I'm actually thinking. Like... Mm -hmm. Is that it? 85.7. So, <sighs> Bode Wild is old for a prospect at 24. So I don't think there's really any value in keeping him. worth a first? Nowhere near first. The gap between first and second in this game is kind of crazy. He might be worth two seconds, though. Let's test it. It's not sufficient at all, apparently. Is he worth two, like, two, three, four? Two and three, okay. So I'm thinking that's a good trade. So I think at this point he's not going to be better than an 81. Josh Manson is what he is at 32. Letty at least sort of fits the system. Oh, Manson fits. Manson's a better fit. I think this might even be worth like a top prospect. Don't really have any good defensive prospects in the system, so let's try this. There he goes. Now he's starting to play. Okay, yeah. All I had to take was downgrade that. So, it's not really a huge upgrade on defense, but 
I get some power play help, which will help the goal scoring, because Sammy Nico is an offensive defenseman, and I get some better help on defense. And, um... So I'm gonna keep. Okay. <laughs> He's cute. So yeah, the team got better, um, and with hopefully some improvements from Will and a couple of the like younger guys on the team, will be. Ready to go. But yeah, Will's proving to not be that great of a pick on defense at least. I can't. It's the first time I've really seen him play with that. Really? Hans Kaufman. Alright, I have 25 minutes and you're cutting me off, right? Alexa, set an alarm for 10 p.m. Oh, yeah, I told you. No, I didn't. Alexa. Oh, Bobby. Sorry, B. See, I don't love this third line here. But if I do that, then it makes the... I like this, and I like that Booth is getting a first line opportunity. I really like that Kaufman is this good already. Like we're getting there. Varakas was a fifth overall pick. I don't think he's going to be better than a third line forward, which is a little annoying, but whatever. I don't love those forward lines, but it's fine. Defensively, this is okay. I like that Will improved one, one overall. Got a little bit of improvement throughout the lineup. I forgot to upgrade in goal. That is the one thing I forgot to do. But you know what? I'm fine with letting Wallstedt develop in that role. <sighs> we'll see how this works. Um, yeah, we'll see how this works. It's a better team. Not a great team, but a better team. We're still not quite at where I want to be as far as like contending for a Stanley Cup is concerned. But we're we're on our way 
to being a good team. A calculator. And that's it. 2 games. Of course. We have an elite defenseman again in the draft. Randy Lowry. where my controller just died and came back to life. Will out with a broken nose, yikes. Both of those injuries were on defense, I just realized that. Um, not good. But we've won three games in a row. That ended. Okay. See, I don't want Booth there. Maybe let's at least try this. Because I don't want Booth on the fourth line. Because he's clearly good enough for the first line already. three straight after I made that change. You know. We're still not great. I want us to be in the goal this season isn't just the playoffs. It's I want us to be top three in the division. It might be a lofty goal, but I think we can do it. A weaker draft class, not great. We did see that there was that one gem, but he might be it. Um, so we might have to try a little harder this year. Ooh, concussion for Pionk. It's a hilarious last name. All right, you got 18 minutes. Release. Chop, chop. Oh, 
Ooh. Are y'all miss Todd's signature? <gasps> Todd's job. She's my PA. She's really good about that stuff. Clearly not. Back to back shoutouts for your ice caps. Kaufman injured his shoulder. Oh, Jack Drury is in the lineup tonight. Manson out with a mild concussion. So this team just has no injury help. We did break a three-game losing streak, which is important. Uh, but then we lose again. Manson's back. Okay, well, it wasn't very long. And we get the win. Okay. I would like for Kaufman to be back soon, because I feel like he's a big part of the offense here. Shoot on loss. Okay, yeah, well, I get my wish. He's back. How was he doing this season? 19 points in 28 games. That's pretty good. That's right, he missed a bunch. He's very injury prone, from what I can see. Um. So I'm not going to panic about that. What? <laughs> Sorry, she's one of my TAs. I know. I'm just laughing at you because you're funny. Let's keep it moving, folks. No more injuries, please. Had enough. So there's a very clear gap in the talent in this division between second and third. So 55 points is how many the Rangers have. We're in third with 44 points. It's like there's the top two teams in the division, and then there's everybody else. Um... The Islanders and Hurricanes are not very good. And we just shut out the Islanders. But everybody else in the division is competitive, which is annoying because that does mean that one good team in this division will miss the playoffs. I don't want it to be us. Trocek is back in the team's next game. Hi, kitty. If you bite me, I'm going to kick you. Not hard. I'm just going to like kick him off of me. Kick was a bit of a strong word. The January rankings here. So there is a franchise player at the start of the draft. Hayden Helms. <laughs> His weakness is character. With a Wayne Gretzky comparison. So he's literally the best possible player you could get. Oh, uh, that sucks. <laughs> but, alas. We're still scouting this guy who's a defensive defenseman, but he's projected to go 69th overall. Nice. Good for him. Right? It's only downhill from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, a three-game losing streak erases that three-game winning streak that we had. So that's just wonderful, folks. Let's at least end and get onto the break on a high note. We can't even do that. <laughs> Are we even in a playoff spot? We might not be. We are, but barely. The Capitals are right behind us. 
Um, six, seven game losing streak now. Eight game losing streak. I know why. Because Trocek came back and fucked with the Lions. That's exactly what happened. Booth was doing fine, he just wasn't playing. He was on the fourth line. Aaron's doing really well. Alright, let's see if that helps moving into the deadline. All I want is to end the losing streak. We don't even do it against Boston. <sighs> okay, we we're back at 500 and we're still in a wild card spot miraculously. I can get a calculator out. Yeah. Okay. We just need to get something to prevent him from going back there. Or to prevent him from knocking his toys under there. So that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get his toys. He's not trying to explore back there. Alright, can we win games? I'm not actually buying. I don't want to enter the deadline. I'm not trading away any assets this year. It's not worth it. The team is 28, 30, and 4. We're six points out of a playoff spot. Because my team was incompetent in the month of February and lost literally every single game. The Canes? No, the Canes are actually good. I'm glad that they're not bad anymore. It's much better viewing experience. Uh I won't claim Geeky. I thought about it, but he's just going to sit on my bench. Oh, look. The horses. Bowie probably isn't very good. He is not. That's a W. It's another W. Alright, we are five points out of playoff spot now. Three points. Still three. Ratcliffe is a prospect. He's 26, never mind. Don't want to know what that noise was. The door stopped. Uh oh. Wow, lots of gems in this draft, though. So we still know nothing about this guy. So we we'll get the potential in comparison going. We're scouting this goalie. I just want to finish this up about the this uh, center here. But we know everything. Of, this Klotz player is probably the best. Um, so something to keep an eye on here. All right, the team is on now a. Seven game winning streak. We just lost against the Blackhawks, but in the shootout, so we had a point. And we beat the Devils. We're in a playoff spot. Hold on. So that was a phenomenal month of March. We still need a good April, like a good solid April. Or we need to win more games than we lose. That should do it. 
So we've clinched a playoff spot. We might be able to finish third in the division. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like we will. Yikes. We got shot out in the last game of the year. Does not bode well for the playoffs. <sighs> so we will likely play the Capitals again. Or the Flyers, I mean. But we finally got a point per game player. And Dominic Cahoon. Nylander. Booth would have done better again, I believe, had he not gotten hurt. Kaufman did a really good job this year. We have a really good team. Kadri has officially regressed. I think this is last year, though. It is. So I'm not going to be re-signing him. Rookies this year, Drury had one assist. Nobody else really, like, did anything. Um, Goaltending kind of carried the way here. Wallstedt, not great. But, again, he's not ready for this league, and I don't know why I put him in this situation. Uh, but here we go against the Philadelphia Flyers, who... I believe won the President's Trophy. DeBrusque with a goal in the first. There's Sprong, Gambrell, but we lose. We were consistent in that we scored a goal every period. The problem is we let them score six. If I were the Ice Caps, I would not do that. Okay, Varaka scores. And there's a win. Uh, Pearson gets a power play goal to win the game in the third for the Ice Caps. So series is tied. This is where everything went awry last time. We lost uh, two straight after this, the last series we had. But the team's getting a little more playoff experience. They have, um, you know, some solid players. I think we'll be good. Manson and Nurse scoring. Got one from Kadri. That's a big win with Will getting, I believe, one of his first playoff goals. All right, you got five minutes. Love. All right. So we've got game four here. DeBrusque and Nylander bring it to one. A one-goal lead for the Flyers. Slavin tied it, but Burakovsky wins it to tie the series up at two games apiece. This is the first time the Ice Caps, um, it was a much less one-sided loss, so that's good. Gambrell and DeBrus scoring, Manson got one, again a one-goal loss this time in the third period, and we'll move to game six. Let's force game seven here. Ahun scoring. Huge. Two goals from Booth in the third. I don't have a ton of time. So OT. Josh Manson is your double overtime hero. Ice caps hang on in the series. Alright. Game seven. Can we get our first series win in franchise history? In Philadelphia. That'd be huge. Kahun scoring. Since this is such a momentous overtime with, like, huge implications, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. 92 defense. It's the first time our defense has been in the 90s. Um, and it's still not where I want it to be. I don't really have a legit first pair. Although I do have Slavin, who's a legitimate first pairing defenseman in this game.
Bar check shot stopped, and there we go. Here comes the defense. Oh, what a hit there. Alex Kerfoot sneaks in, and Calhoun has it. Here come the ice caps. Nope, Voracek steals it. Pad save. Try it again. <laughs> Nylander now. Dumps the puck in. He's all alone against five. And Couturier starts the breakout. Great play on defense to get that. Calhoun has it now. He'll skate in, get hit, Booth with it now, the strong, tall forward, Nylander in front. Missed the net. Sean Couturier. Kerfoot, nice play by Jacob Slavin and Sammy Miku there. Do I want to know what he's fucking with? I think one of his toys went in the cabinet, or under the cabinet, and he's trying to get it. Not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Trocek wins it back to Niku. Kaufman! I love saying that. That's such a fun name. Kaufman. Verona was stymied on defense by Niku there. Uh, still got a shot away eventually, but um, great defense there. <laughs> I was waiting for the, the guy to show up on the list. He's number 10. That's uh, not great. Plus, we're one round. We're not even a full round into the playoffs. You know, you can't even judge players in terms of their goal totals unless somebody has like a ridiculous amount you know but here's Slavin with it gets it to Teravine and great play there and here come the ice caps Teravine and shot was blocked the rebound was also blocked great news oh he went for a line change instead of a hit oh no oh what a save on a phenomenal move. Oh my gosh. Slavin gets crushed there. I, I thought for sure he was lining him up for the hit. And I see him get onto the bench. And my heart just drops. I hate that for us. Shot and a save. Puck is loose. Flyers still retain possession. Patrick shot. Stop, and he's going to hold on. And he's going like sick in the club with that toy, man. Alright, third line out from my team now. Don't believe they were out before. Let's see who the hero is. Hopefully for Raleigh Durham. Shot and a great save. Right now the hero is our goalie. Nurse got hit hard by Faraby. Hi, hi, Farabee with a shot. Pretty easy save from our goalie, but every save is a good save at this point. It is overtime in game seven. Every save is huge. Our I love that our defenseman just gave them the puck. Great poke check to get it to Manson. Brackus going one on two. Look at him go. Powers through and gets a shot away and a blocker save by Carter Hart. Brackus to nurse. Gets hit off the puck. Maybe I should have traded Darnell Nurse instead of Nick Letty. Yeah. Another good save. Hi, Katie. Couple good chances for the Flyers there. Um, none bigger than that breakaway opportunity. Blocked on the way through. Pionk. 
pass. Please make a good pass. Thank you. Now get time in their zone. Not like that. That's better. Cahoon with Cahoon with it behind the net. Will to Nylander. William Nylander. Shooting scores! Ice caps win and move on. What a play, William Nylander. Just weaving through the defense there. Look at this. So it's going to be Nylander's goal from Cahoon and Will. So Will with the primary assist. Look at this play, though. Gets around. He worked his way eventually around three, four defenders. And gets the shot up and just past the glove of Carter Hart. Just an absolutely phenomenal individual effort there. Oh. <laughs> Get it. So, the Ice Caps get their first series win in franchise history. And they will play the New Jersey Devils. Tanner Pearson with a huge goal to get the ice caps up. I know. It's kind of funny. They get the win thanks to Tanner Pearson in game one. Game two. Kaufman with a goal. With two goals. Ah, oh, we lose. All right, Elise. All right. All right, this is your last grading. It's 10.05. I have... You said not to let you grade past... I understand. I'm almost done. I'm, like, actually almost done. Okay. Well... Ooh, that wasn't a good third period. That's fine. I'm giving you as many seconds as you need. I just thought, uh... Oh, my gosh. Okay. You just told me to get you at 10, so I figured I'd, uh... That's fine. I'm not mad. I just thought I'd, you know, hold my... Oh, yeah. I was going to wrap up as soon as you finished. And there we go. Huge W to tie the series up. It's not bullshit. It's a lifestyle. Hi, kitty. Are you still being a little bit of an explorer? Oof. I feel like I walked across my stomach. What the <laughs> Got him looking like a meerkat on his hind legs. like. <laughs> so that's uh, another game where we've had a third period collapse. Playing with his tail. He's just trying to mirror you. Let's get the comeback. Huge Niku. Big overtime win thanks to Booth there. And I believe this is another game seven that we've forced. Yes, it is. So this is just the it's like the cardiac canes, but it's the cardiac caps. Ice caps there that is. There we go. Another win, and we're heading to the conference final here. Good lord, look at this. Thick ass cat. All right, so we're guaranteed a pretty late first round pick now. So we might actually be able to use it on one. Uh, this guy right here, Achim Klotz. We're gonna just like build a little German dynasty here. Thank you, Noki. Honky donkey. <laughs> yeah, so we know a little bit more about everything now. So I'm going to keep going. And we will play the...
Toronto Maple Leafs, last year's Stanley Cup winners. So this is going to be tough. Oh, God. We'll move right on past game one there. We did get a goal from Kaufman, but it wasn't enough. I'm going to keep saying his name like that. We'll just move right on past game two. This might be it for our playoff dreams, folks. <laughs> We're not... Is he your other TA? Malik! You gotta stop turning in work late. Huge, we tied it. Overtime win. Thanks, Kahoon. Kahoon. I think it's Kahoon. I want to say that's how you pronounce his name. Either way, the team's leading scorer in the playoffs comes through in the clutch in overtime in game three and gets us a huge win on home ice to keep us in this series. Another one. Tavo Teravainen's power play goal in overtime. On Oh, so Chris is the goalie there. Interesting. He's a creative player. Here we go. Slavin with the goal. Huge. It's like a revenge of the Leafs here. Kadri with two goals and Nylander with one all of a sudden, folks. Hold on a second. Three straight wins for the ice caps. What's going on? Uh, Toronto gets an overtime win thanks to Tavares. So we're going to game seven. Pionk out with a sore shoulder. How's everybody doing? Everybody's happy? Good. Alright, everything's good. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm worried. We've played so many games. <laughs> Game seven. Okay, first period, we're down, but we've got the momentum. That's it for the season. Casualty tries, but unfortunately, folks... We fall short. We lose in game seven. Unfortunately, our game seven magic couldn't last forever. Calgary wins the cup this time, getting revenge over Toronto for last year. Oh, oh are you sleepy now? He's sleepy now. So we have a lot of gems in this draft. Like, a lot, a lot. So it's going to be really good. Look at the way he's sitting. Do you see this? What a guy. Beans. Got your toe beans. Alright. We'll check the awards real quick. President's trophy went to Philly. Ooh, I'll hoe in the Selkie. That doesn't surprise me, actually. That might happen in the future. Okay. So we've got the 30th overall pick. I could pick Felix Banach, but I'm going to pick Akeem Klotz. With the Matthias Ekholm comparison. He's a defensive defenseman, but this is a guy who I could turn into a legitimate top four defenseman. And you need that shutdown guy. So this is one of the returns from one of the various trades that I made. 
There's not really a gem towards the end of the round, so I'll be fine. I think it really just goes down to who my scouts like more, and that's Philip Goldman here. Medium top nine forward, watch Carolina pick somebody better. Watch it happen. Uh, I got the player with two overall points better, but it kind of looks like I got a decent player. No. So they probably want one of these gems here. I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick Aldolin, just to see. Low top 4D, yeah, that sounds about right. Hell, he's sleeping he's so weird. He doesn't usually sleep like this. Ah, uh, that's the guy that they wanted, Nordgren. Did you finish grading? Nice. Well, let me um just finish this up real quick, and then I'll be done. No, stop. Don't grade more stuff. Literally, I am finishing the draft, and then that's it. If you grade any more stuff, we're fighting. Look at it. Look at his little face. Look at Kitty's little face. No, not you, him. <laughs> okay. So we're now at the part of the draft where, like, nobody knows what's going on. We've got the goalies, allegedly got this guy who I'm just gonna go ahead and pick another guy that's from Germany I mean I can't trust my German scout like all of the time but you know it might be kinda funny to have a team built off of like gems picked from Germany I think that's it. So I'm actually going to take my shot at the goalie here that we know nothing about. Oh, not that one. McKesney. Medium elite. Okay. With the last pick in this round, we're just going to kind of pick whoever now. No no back-to-back -back goalies. That's not going to be good for the system later on. We'll pick Grachev, Sergei Grachev. Who is a medium top nine forward. Not terrible. Holy crap, I'm picking this guy just because of his last name. Holy crap. Oh my. Gervais Renard. He's French. Sure. He sucks, but just that name um, <sighs> will go down in Carolina. Or Raleigh Durham Ice Caps legend. That's the longest freaking name I've ever seen in this game. Holy crap. Alright, the last player to be picked by this team in the draft. Will be Jason Tierney. Okay. Decent draft. I am going to end the stream right now. And we will send to the resign phase later. We got both playoff series in. The team's in a good place. We're looking good. I'm excited for the future now. So bye everybody.